Hello and welcome to Synology 2022. Once again, we are delighted to share with you our exciting new developments. All around the world, the need for security and privacy is ever increasing in both private households and business environments. Therefore, at Synology, we pride ourselves on enabling our users to securely share and store their data. But today, we are not only talking about how to keep your data private, but also how to protect your home and business with cutting-edge video surveillance technology. With the feature-rich software Surveillance Station, combined with our flexible Synology NAS devices, you can easily create your private video surveillance environment. For you at home, the surveillance station helps you keep your home and family members safe. With your smartphone, you can keep an eye on your children or pets while you are away. Moreover, the software sends out alerts when there are unexpected visitors, preventing theft and break-ins. The latter makes the use of surveillance station equally crucial for businesses of any kind and scale. Companies using Surveillance Station also enjoy the flexibility of over 8,000 compatible IP cameras, efficient mass deployment, free of cost features that ensure high availability and intelligent design for high performance and various use cases. But with Surveillance Station 9.0, we're taking video surveillance to a whole new level. This update comes with incredible enhancements to its intuitive design new features that make extensive deployments breathtakingly easy and further developments to increase your data security. Though already known for being simple to use, Surveillance Station 9.0 will provide an even more convenient user experience. To demonstrate, let's first look at the previous workflow of designing a video monitoring dashboard. Here we have two applications in Surveillance Station, Live View and timeline view. Together they make up a video monitoring dashboard that allows you to monitor video feeds in real time and playback recordings when needed. However, in many situations real time monitoring and playback aren't necessarily independent operations. For example, when you notice something unusual in live view, you often want to go back to a couple of seconds or minutes ago to double check what just happened or even fast forward to hours ago to see when a person entered the building. For those reasons in Surveillance Station 9.0 we are unifying these two applications into one single operation. Monitor Center allows you to create a brand new monitoring dashboard that is 100% customizable to your needs. To tailor your video monitoring dashboard, we bring you Monitor Center, which makes everything so much simpler. You can directly drag each video stream to a specific spot where you might want to adjust the frame, for instance. You can also very quickly change the layout to fit your preferences. Additionally, you'll find connected devices located on the device panel for convenience. Whether you're adding new IP cameras or an I.O. module to specify which functions you want to map, the new Monitor Center makes it simple and flexible. For further adjustments, we can modify a camera's PTZ settings to move and adjust each camera for optimum viewing. Now that we've finished the initial setup, let's see how it works when something happens. For example, let's assume there's a break-in happening. For such time-sensitive events, you'll want alerts to trigger immediately, notifying you or security personnel as soon as possible. Monitor Center also provides a list of all occurrences, which you'll find in the alert panel on the right. And even better, Monitor Center enables you to act on these events. For instance, you can trigger a siren if you have some devices connected to an I.O. module. Moreover, convenient playback controls and ways to quickly skip to the next or previous event reduce the effort needed to locate certain events. And when you directly hover over the timeline, the corresponding snapshots for the channels will also show up. Once you're finished investigating, you can always add a bookmark to register and save the clips for later usage. 
In short, Monitor Center allows anyone to watch video feeds quickly and effectively, regardless of whether you are employing only one or a thousand cameras. Speaking of larger deployments, we have vastly increased surveillance station scalability. The scalability of your surveillance solution is essential because the more complex the use cases, the harder the two common challenges, deployment and maintenance. Let's first look at the challenge of deployment, which creates questions such as how can we connect tens, hundreds or even thousands of cameras to different servers within the shortest time possible. Let's see how Surveillance Station 9.0 can tackle this problem. First, we'll show you how to add multiple cameras in only three minutes. In the application IP Camera, the Camera Wizard will lead us through the process in just a few steps. First, Auto Discovery finds all the cameras in the network. If needed, you can scan another IP range if any cameras are not in the same subnet. Next, select the cameras you would like to add to your surveillance environment. Then, you might want to modify the camera names or go straight to pairing the recording server with your selected cameras. You might want to adjust specific parameters based on your requirements, for instance, the camera resolution. While Quick Setup uses Surveillance Station's default setting for a lightning fast configuration, you can already adjust further configurations in batch for all the selected cameras, such as the video and recording settings and a recording schedule. And that's it, your setup is now complete. The second example, a real-world scenario with more complex camera settings, gives you a feeling of how convenient large deployments are with Surveillance Station 9.0. Consider a project that involves 300 cameras consisting of 10 different models and we need to connect these cameras to five recording servers in total. Before, this process could take more than nine hours. Now, even if you want to make a detailed configuration for each one of the 10 models, it'll just take 30 minutes. But to speed up this process even more, you can copy settings from an existing camera. Here a typical scenario would be to add more cameras from the same model after the initial deployment. Or you fill in detailed configurations in an Excel file and import the file directly to Surveillance Station. For the second challenge, maintenance, we want to know how to keep the surveillance software on each server up to date especially when hosted within a CMS cluster, where all servers should run the same version. Hence, Surveillance Station will notify you promptly should it need an update. For servers connected to the internet, you can let them download the necessary versions directly from Synology's download server. On the other hand, we know that frequently surveillance servers are configured in a closed network. In this case, you can download the update for each model to your computer beforehand and upload it to the surveillance station. The host server will then dispatch them to the recording servers. So we talked about how the new camera deployment process and server update functionality can assist system integrators as the projects grow. Still, monitoring, which primarily involves keeping track of all the cameras deployed, needs to be scalable as well. To achieve this, we gave the application eMap an overhaul. Now just called Maps, the app lets users build the right map that best suits their individual needs. Home, retail or small offices may create an image map of the floor plan. For multi-floor buildings, you can group maps that combine multiple floor plans and are easily adjustable. Finally, for multi-site or large premises, for example stores, universities or public areas, we have integrated third-party maps. By using our Synology headquarters as an example, we'll show you how you can use these features all together to give your security personnel the tools they need to protect your property. Within Monitor Center, you can set up and then monitor sites using maps, which allows an accessible overview of your entire business, home, and any other area you are observing, including details of where every single camera is positioned. First, we will drag and drop the tool maps into our general layout and select any pre-configured maps. In this case, we see Google Maps displaying the industrial park where Synology headquarters is located. Small camera icons indicate the employed cameras and display the live recordings. While this view is 
excellent for multi-site and multi-building monitoring, a more detailed floor plan is more useful for keeping track of what's happening inside the building. Therefore, let's select the map group Synology Building and look at the floor map of the ninth floor. Now, we can edit the map to add one of our cameras to it. When doing so, you enjoy the flexibility of accurately adjusting the monitoring area and field of view. Moreover, should the software trigger an alert, the alert pops up in the map itself, further ensuring that security officers will not miss any warning. On top of that, when there are multiple alerts at different locations simultaneously, the map view will automatically zoom out to provide a much better overview of these alerts. And finally, you may drag and drop multiple cameras all together and add them to your layout, allowing you to conveniently operate each camera, such as using the audio output to warn or scare off the intruder. As mentioned before, security and privacy are the building blocks of all our solutions. Therefore, we are constantly seeking ways to further improve the data security for all our users. As most of you know, this is how a surveillance server works. Surveillance station connects to IP cameras and then streams the video to the NAS recording it. On the other side, for remote access, client software, for example, a browser, desktop client or a mobile app, is used to access video feeds from the NAS. To ensure a high level of security, we encourage that all of these connections be secured. That's why in 9.0 we are adding HTTPS support for IP cameras that support it, securing the configuration and management interfaces used for so many features. Furthermore, the new update will introduce the support of the SRTP protocol for encrypted video streams. Both these features enable your deployments to be less susceptible to interceptions. We are also adding the option to encrypt video stored on the drive directly. That means without the encryption key, even if your admin password is compromised, the attacker won't be able to view your recordings. These advanced safety features are critical elements for guaranteeing your data security. Nonetheless, with Surveillance Station 9.0, we are taking it further by introducing additional privacy enhancing features called masking and watermarks. With masking, you can directly apply a static privacy mask to a specific area. This feature is handy for cameras whose wide angle encompasses areas that must not be recorded, such as an employee's working space. To make your recordings even more private, you can add watermarks. Those work as a signature that deters unauthorized users and identifies where the clip is from. While all these safety measures are crucial, one at least equally important factor is often overlooked. That is your NAS's physical security, which is critical to all surveillance station users, regardless of whether you're a home or a business user, because multi-layered encryption doesn't help you when your house or business burns down or your NAS gets stolen. For all those reasons, all Synology NAS devices come with comprehensive backup software because the key to an efficient backup strategy is having at least one copy of your data at a remote location. For surveillance station users, we are introducing a new, even more effective solution to this problem. And it's called dual recording to C2 surveillance. With dual recording, you'll have two recording paths. The first stores your data on your local NAS, and the second simultaneously streams to the Synology C2 cloud. In a disaster scenario where your NAS is destroyed, all previous recordings as recent as no more than five seconds before the disaster will remain on C2. And finally, on the web portal of C2, you can play back your clips, find the ones when the crime took place, and directly share those clips with the police. Very important to notice is that the Synology C2 cloud is a destination as secure as your Synology NAS. You can set up an additional encryption key for the NAS so that no one but you can access your recordings on C2. Like many other cloud storage or streaming services, the dual recording to C2 feature will be subscription based. Pricing plans will be announced upon its official release, but we can already reveal a little bit. 
For the environments where the risk of an unfortunate event is relatively low, for example in households, you might want small insurance. Here, the basic plan makes sense. It lets you upload only event recordings, for example motion detection in 720p resolution and store the recordings on C2 for seven days before newer recordings rotate them. This plan will cost you only one dollar per month per camera. On the other hand, for businesses where stakes are higher, you will have a different option that includes smart continuous recording, that is recording at full frames per second when certain events take place and recordings at one frame per second when nothing happens. The recordings will be in full HD, that is 1080p, and stored for 30 days. This extended period might be crucial for instances in which you become aware of a crime a significant time after it was committed. The exact pricing is still to be determined, uh, however we are aiming to keep the cost below what you spend on one to two cups of coffee. To sum up, with Surveillance Station 9.0 you're getting a redesigned and improved user experience which features a more intuitive video monitoring dashboard. Further advancements that make large deployments incredibly easy and a series of security measures such as encryption, monitoring and dual recording. But before we wrap it up, we want to talk about AI-powered video analytics, a technology in whose development we have invested a significant amount of effort in the last two years. In fact, since last year we have added the analytics module face recognition, doubled the maximum number of analysis tasks supported on our DVA units from 6 to 12 and included central management capabilities as more and more users want to combine multiple DVA and VRs to perform analytics on a more significant number of cameras. With these previous improvements and Synology's DVA models ensuring that all recordings and analytics results are 100% on premises, the DVA and VR has become a highly demanded model deployed in various sectors. However, We've been asked if we have plans to make it more accessible for smaller businesses or even for homes. Therefore, we are excited to announce the release of the DVA 1622 for next year. This new model will support up to 16 cameras and two analysis tasks, one reserved for face recognition. In most cases, smaller deployments need an all-in-one solution. Accordingly, the new DVA has a direct HDMI output with 4K display and supports H265. Furthermore, the DVA 1622 will run Surveillance Station 9.0 by default and in this software version we'll add yet another analytics module, the most frequently requested one, license plate recognition, a feature that will aid homes, businesses and factories by intelligently monitoring cars coming in and out of their properties. It even lets you pre-configure different automated actions for allowed or blocked vehicles. License plate recognition won't only be available for DVA 1622 but all DVA models. Existing DVA users can test it out as soon as Surveillance Station 9.0 goes into beta. For more exciting information on upcoming developments, check out the other Synology 2022 videos. Thanks for tuning in, we wish you all the best and stay protected with your Synology Surveillance Station.